Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some methods to fix error code SU1012655 on PS5. Method 1. Free up space on PS5 storage device. The PS5 console uses an SSD as its main internal storage device, and as savvies know that SSDs need between 15 to 20% of their storage capacity to be free in order to operate flawlessly at maximum performance. Therefore, if your PS5 internal storage is almost full or has less than 15% of free space, you should consider freeing it up for the system software update or the new game you want to install and to avoid PS5 error code SU1012655 in the future. Method 2. Power cycle the PS5. Just holding the power button for 3 seconds. The power indicator will blink for a few moments before turning off. Next. Unplug the power cable and disconnect any peripheral attached to your console, such as a controller, headset, external hard drive, HDMI cable, etc. Wait 30 minutes, plug the power cable back in, then turn the console on again. After that, try for the update to download again. Method 3. Update PS5 system software using a USB drive. To do this, we need a USB drive, there must be approximately 1, 1 GB of free space, and a PC or Mac. First, turn off your PS5 console. Next, we will connect the USB drive to the computer. After that, we need to formatting USB drive as FAT32 or XFAT. Just open File Explorer then right-click on the USB drive, then select Format. Now, on File System option, choose FAT32 or XFAT. Here I will choose FAT32. Select the Start button to proceed with formatting. Next, create a folder named PS5 on a USB drive. Inside that folder, create another folder named Update. Now, download the PS5 console update file on the PlayStation site and save it in the Update folder. Save the file as ps5update.pup. Once done, plug the USB drive containing the file into your PS5 console. Start your PS5 console in safe mode, press and hold the power button, releasing after the second beep. Now connect the PS5 controller with a USB cable. Now press the PlayStation button present on the controller. The PlayStation will now be in the safe mode. Select Update System Software. Select Update from USB Storage Device. Select OK. Finally, if the problem persists then reset PS5, reinstall system software. Just go to Settings. Go to System.
Select System Software. Go to Reset Options. Select Reset Your Console. In case the console doesn't start correctly, start your PS5 console in Safe Mode and select Reset PS5. Reinstall System Software. To do that, you have first to turn off your console by holding the power button for 3 seconds. The power indicator will blink for a few moments before turning off. Once the console is off, press and hold the power button again. Release it after you hear the second beep. One beep will sound when you first press, and another 7 seconds later. Now, connect the controller with the USB cable. Now, press the PS button on the controller. Here, go to option 8, reset PS5, reinstall system software. Now, using a PC or Mac then download the reinstallation file on the PlayStation site and follow the same steps as the system software update method. Just replace the update file with the re- Once done, plug the USB drive containing the file into your PS5 console. After that, follow the instructions on the screen. Most of the time, this method will help you to fix this problems. If the problem persists or the safe mode cannot be started, it is possible that the PS5's internal hard drive is damaged or the connecting cables are loose. Please contact Sony or experts for the best support at this time. That's it guys, hope this is helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch or leave a comment. Thanks.